What's up, guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right, it's the end of deer season, which means it's the beginning of habitat season. So we're back here in the spot that I prepped earlier on at the end of uh, the summer last year, which uh, I could include a link here for you to see that. What I did was I sprayed and chemically treated this whole section here on my property line. And you can see it's very, very dead and even a different color than like this area over here that still has a little green in it. This has been burnt. This was like, I could have set this on fire if I was allowed in this area and just got rid of all this duff. This is dead down to the dirt. So what are we doing today? We are gonna plant this. What? That's right. How are we gonna plant this in the middle of winter here in December in upstate New York? Easy. Frost seeding. That's right, frost seeding. We're gonna take seed while this ground is frozen and open. And I got nice little open pores on the soil. It's nice and hard and firm. And we're gonna seed into that. And then the next couple of days, it's gonna thaw during the day, pull, which will pull the seed into the ground. And then it'll freeze over again and thaw and freeze. And then snow is gonna start to come up here in upstate New York and cover this for the whole winter. And that's gonna treat the seed really well all winter. And then we should get a good, good growth in the summer. And I'm planting switchgrass here. Uh, switchgrass is a warm season grass, and I want it to grow really tall in this section on the edge beginning of my field. And I have a fence here, which is my property line. You can see the posted sign. I want uh, the switchgrass to grow tall and block me going around my property um, to get to the woods, and I also want it to block everything's view inside my field. I just, too many cars come by the road and look in. The deer don't want to hang out in my field here because it's just open right to the woods, uh, about 200 yards. So I'm gonna try to create some tall, thick switch here. All right, let's get to frost seeding. Frost seeding, what is it? Well, we're going to seed into this hard, frozen ground that creates these opening and pores. As it freezes, the pores open up and the seed's gonna go into all these pores. And then when it warms up in the next couple of days and thaws, covers up the seed and gets it into the, the seed bed or the seed and soil contact is great and helps your seed germinate without the use of machines. So you can see all these pores we're gonna frost seed into. And this works very well when you have freeze and frost temperatures. Uh, we're here in early December, and like I was saying, it's perfect. It's 26 now. It's only gonna go up to like 30 today, but tomorrow is gonna be 34 to 39, and then it goes back down, and then there's snow, and it just is really gonna push and hammer the seed right into all these little pockets and help it germinate in the summer when the switchgrass will grow. And that's frost seeding. All right, so the seed's in, and uh, you know, I'm by no means a professional on this whole process, but um, trying to get on switch. Last year, I, I used the ATV tiller and tilled up the ground and planted switch. And I got uh, some good success with that. Uh, this year, I sprayed chemically and cleared the ground. By the end of the summer, it looked like this was dirt. But now that we're here in winter and I'm seeded into it, I am a little concerned because there's, there's a lot of duff to get to get through. And you know, and I'm seeing I'm seeing the seed in there that I got it on in there. But I'm concerned that will it work with the frost seeding to get to that seed to soil contact I need to sprout in the summer. We do have plenty of time, it's December, and this isn't gonna start to grow until the end of May, June, July sometimes, depending upon the weather and heat. Um, so I'm just a tad concerned, but I'm not a professional and this is what I'm doing, I'm trying to learn as I go. 
but I'm excited to see if I can get some switchgrass, you know, blocking off what people see in my property, making it more inviting for the deer to come in, making it easier for me to walk around as a hunter on the opposite side of the switchgrass, like with my property line. So I'll be behind the switchgrass going in. If the deer are in the woods, they won't see me coming up. They won't see the cars going by as easy. It'll make them feel way less pressure and hang out in my field. Um, all right, thanks for watching.